Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm so excited to finally be doing another makeup tutorial. As you guys know, we just moved house and it's been crazy. Anyway, so I'm finally doing the much requested budget makeup look. So everything I'm using in this makeup tutorial is got a small price tag and it's really good products. So I hope you guys enjoy and it's more of a natural look as well like most of you guys requested. So I hope you really like this look and keep watching. First, we're going to be starting with Clean Skin, and for my eyes, I'm going to be going in with Sukin's Antioxidant Eye Serum. So I'm going to be popping this on under the eyes, and this is just going to help moisturize that area to stop any makeup from settling into any small creases. Time to moisturize my lips with my favorite lip conditioner. This is Breeze Balm by Sammy Leo. It's one of my staple everyday items I use all the time. Now I'm using Face Base Skin Primer by Model Co as my primer. This is a hydrating primer and I'm really impressed with this. It is budget friendly obviously, but I'm super happy with how well it keeps my makeup on and how smooth and hydrating it is as well. For foundation today, I'm using NYX's HD foundation in soft beige. This has got a really nice coverage. I've always been a MAC Studio Fix girl, but since I've found this, this is definitely going to be an everyday cheaper alternative for me. Now for eyes, we're going to be starting with NYX's eyeshadow base. And I've just got this in a skin tone color that's going to help even out the color of my eyelids as obviously most of us, our eyelids can be a bit more of a purpley tinge. So just using a concealer brush, I wanna pop that all over the lid, all through to the tear duct and even under the eye as well. The eyeshadow palette we're gonna be using today is NYX's Beauty School Dropout. I love this palette, it's got so many awesome colors. And first we're gonna be going in with a matte beige skin tone color and we're just gonna pop that all over the brow bone and that's just gonna really help our transition color to blend. For crease color, I'm using a mid-tone brown. And I'm just using a large fluffy blending brush to blend that through the crease. Next, I'm going in with an earthy toned red. This is also a matte shade and I'm just bringing that through the crease and blending it onto the eyelid. So it's gonna give us that really nice, soft, diffused look. Next, I'm using a shimmer taupe eyeshadow and just with my fingertip, I'm gonna be patting that along the eyelid just to give it a bit more of a pop. Now I'm going back in with that mid-tone brown and that earthy red and just blending them together along the bottom lash line. Now for a highlight color, this is just a champagne shimmer and I'm just gonna be popping that in the tear duct. For eyeliner, we're using Samantha Jade's Model Prefer Liquid Liner and it's in a pen form and I absolutely love this liner. It's so easy. I honestly prefer this liner compared to most high-end brands. So basically the trick with this is doing tiny little strokes and joining them together and that's gonna help it keep it nice and straight. Mm -hmm. 
Now for concealer, I'm using NYX's Above and Beyond Full Coverage Concealer. I started using this quite a few weeks ago, but I'm absolutely loving it. It is super cheap and it's just really good coverage. I'm just using a Duo Fiber Flat Concealer Brush to pop this on. You can use a fluffy small brush, which I do tend to use most of the time, but with this consistency of the concealer, I do prefer more of a flat brush for this. Time to contour. So this is Model Co's Contour Stick and I'm so obsessed with this. I've spent so much money on different contouring um, makeups, but this is just so creamy and it's really easy to blend as well. So I'm just gonna pop that under the cheekbone, along the forehead and down the nose and then just blending it out. You can blend it out with your finger or a brush, whichever you prefer. Now just to give us more of a highlight, I'm using NYX's Above and Beyond Concealer again, but this is just in a lighter shade. This is in the pale shade. So I'm just gently popping that down the nose and also just a bit under the eyes, just to give it a bit more of a highlight. Now to set it all, I'm using Australia's Fresh and Flawless in Deep Natural. So this just is going to give me that extra coverage as well. And it's just a really creamy, lovely powder. So I'm just popping that all over. Now to set that highlight under our eyes, I'm using the Australia's Banana Powder. So this is a really awesome powder, guys. So with this powder, you basically go over all over the areas that you've already highlighted, and that's just gonna help set that further. Now using the NYX Matte Bronzer in the shade Deep Tan, and I'm just basically going over all our contours with this. So whenever you're contouring, always use a matte bronzer. It definitely is a much nicer look than if you use a shimmer. Now for blush, I'm using the Model Co's Duo Blush and I love to mix these two together. The Model Co blushes are really pigmented so you don't need much. But yes, this is just a really nice peach with the light pink and it just looks so nice together. Now using the Australia's Liquid Strobe. Now this is such a nice liquid. It's just liquid amazingness. <laughs> so you only need a tiny bit and I'm just popping that along my top lip down my nose and also along my cheekbones. And as you can see, you don't need much, but it just gives it that extra glow. It's so pretty. Time for eyebrows. So this is Model Co's new collection with Hayley Baldwin. So this is called the Perfect Brow and one end has the brow crayon, which is a really nice shape because it keeps it nice and sharp. The color I'm using here is light medium to help match with my fairer hair color. And the other end has clear brow gel, so that's gonna help it set it all in place. So I love this eyebrow duo, it's just so handy and I really love the crayon. I find it lasts really well as well. For mascara, I'm using Model Co's Lash Extend. I really like this mascara. It isn't clumpy and it honestly makes your lashes look so long. So I've got eyelash extensions, so I'm just popping a tiny bit on there just to make them a bit darker and then popping them along the lower lash line. Lucky last is lips. So I'm using Model Co's Illusion Lip Liner. This is definitely a new staple of mine. So this is just a nice natural color and you can even wear it on its own. So that's why it's called Illusion. So it really does make your lips just basically look like lips. For lipstick, I'm using the Hayley Baldwin Model Co Lipstick in Bossa Nova. So this again is just a nice natural lip color you can wear any day and you can obviously pair it with pretty much any eye makeup that you'd like. So yes, definitely recommend this one as well. 
this look I'm loving this natural bronzy look at the moment and using all budget friendly products is just the best because I know makeup can be super expensive hope you guys enjoyed please subscribe and give me a thumbs up thanks